Hi. Hi. My name is Leah. I can't hear you. Hi, my name is Leah, and I'm going to be making some blueberry bread. Yeah, blueberry scones. Very good. Here you go. Here's the whisk. And you're going to mix. We have two cups of spelt flour and a half a teaspoon of sea salt. So we mix that all in. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to combine our wet ingredients. Let me have the whisk so we don't get that. Okay, move the flour out of the way. Bring the agave in front of you. Okay. And then we have a half a cup of buttermilk that we made. This is our hemp milk with added vinegar. Yep. Pour it in there. Yep, pour all of it in. Good job. And then we have our flaxseed egg replacer. And the agave, it is a half a cup of agave. Oh, and that's one, one egg. I have some waffles, I do not taste it. Yeah, be careful when you pour it. Got it. My sister said <laughs> Taste it. That's what she said. But I, I don't taste it. What's that nice one you use? Use use the um spatula. The rubber scraper. Like that. Okay, now you can put that down and grab the other container and that is both in that oil. Good job. Pour it all in. And this is that give our added fat and flavor as well. And then you're gonna mix mix it with the whisk. So you can't eat butter, so that's why it's called coconut oil. Coconut oil. Mommy can't eat butter. What's happening after this video? You get to eat the stuff? And then I get to eat the stuff. It's okay, so good. Okay. Could you do it for Mm hmm. Now, what you see here is the chunks from the, um, the uh, flaxseed milk. We added vinegar in it, and it created basically sour milk. And what happens is it kind of chunks up like, it, like buttermilk would. Awesome. All right, now what we want to do, I'll hold the whisk, go ahead and grab the flour. That's our, that's our oven preheating. Move the, uh -huh. and now you want to pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. You need help? Take the, the empty bowl. Okay, now take the white, yep, and go ahead and mix. Turn it. You want to fold it in, remember, like this. Mm -hmm. Fold. Now, scones, the flour, the mixture should be thick. So, after we're done, if it's not thick enough, we'll add a little bit more flour. Flour? <laughs> No, the agave is liquid. We need it to be thick, so we don't need to add more liquid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I come like on. agave. Mm -hmm. it's it's, it is very sweet. I love sugar. Okay, come on, mix. Fold, remember? Fold, fold. Okay, good job. Now we have it all mixed up. Now add your um, blueberries. 
Now we gotta fold it. Mm -hmm, I love blueberries. Fold it gently so the blueberries don't, we don't smash the blueberries. You see how thick the, um, the dough is. And we're just gonna fold the blueberries inside the dough. It is. It's very thick. You need help? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so I am good. And Say, I'm look, look at mommy. See? See what I'm doing? I see what you're doing. Okay, now you try it. And just fold it in. No, they're not. They're not smashed. You just fold them in. Like this? Yes. Like that. Yep. Okay, so now we got our blueberries all incorporated in our dough. And we are going to... Put our dough on the floured surface. Is, is it coming out? Yes, let me pack it. Yeah. Now we got our dough down on our flour surface and we're gonna not smash it too much because we want it thick. But we're gonna roll it out some. So we can still roll it out so we get soft. Roll it out. All right, so we have our scone dough and we have it rolled out and patted down just a little bit. Nice, yes, nice and thick. So it's up to you how thick or thin you want it. I'm gonna leave it right there. And um, you can roll it out just a little bit more and then give it a little more shape. Just a little bit more. Like that. Yes, like that. And then we're gonna cut it into triangles. You ready to cut it? Here you go. That's good enough with the flour. Cause cut it into triangles. Uh huh. Start right here. Yep, on the corner. Yep. Cut it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and then when you cut it, put it on the baking sheet. Ooh. Ooh, it does look good. Put it on the baking sheet. Come on. But the blueberries are cut. It's okay. They're cut. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, do the next one. So Let's start like right here. Mm hmm It's okay if you cut the blueberry. It's okay if you cut the blueberries. Okay, you can cut the next one. Put it on the paint on the baking sheet. Ooh, that's gonna be tasty. that blueberry. Can I eat it? Not right now, but yeah. It's on. It's on. It's on. Okay, okay. You got it? I think we need to cut the blueberry. Well, I didn't. I didn't need to cut the blueberry. Well, we need to cut the blueberry. <laughs> you like that better? Wow, I that's a big one. Did you get in that one? Okay, cut it right here like this. You can make a triangle right here. Sorry, guys. You don't have to smash anymore. That's good. Because um, this is spelt flour and there's no baking powder and baking soda in it. So it's not going to rise too much. It's, this is what it is. So you want to make it as thick as you want it to be when you eat it. Because it's not going to rise anymore. We did it, guys. You did it. Good job. <laughs> okay, put it on the pan. I like it. Yes, mm -hmm. it, yes I do. Alright, so we're going to get the rest of these cut up and get them in the oven. 
Okay, guys, here are our stones. All right, guys, so we let the stones kick, um, cool um, off. off. And now, here's Holy Priestess. Okay, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.